this was built in Tangshan. It was a huge earthquake, the worst in Chinese history, and it wiped out the city basically. Wall rent, nobody's in there. I guess this is where all the coal would have been. Oh, we're up to the controls. Whoa, look at all these controls. I wonder what all these rods do. There's so many of them. Can anybody tell me in the comments what all of these red sticks are for? I'd love to know. It's very narrow, I think. <laughs> they must have been very slim to get out of here. See the horns on it. Whew, this thing is hot as hell. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but the surface of it is super hot. I guess this would have been the engine. If you've seen my video where I was in Bolivia, Salada Uni in Bolivia, I explored a, a train cemetery there and I actually climbed inside the belly of some of these beasts. I'm always surprised how kind of spacious they are inside. It's beautiful. According to those papers, I mean the newspapers, the train has been officially abandoned uh, since 2012. Have you ever taken any trains like this before? Definitely 20 years ago, those kind of green train mm. has been considered the most common train here in China. But now uh, with the development of the bullet train, most of those green train has been, uh, you know, abandoned. Mm. Due to, you know, some rural areas, still some green train has been remained. What kind of feeling do you get when you see these trains? The lost happy memories. My grandparents took me to somewhere else. Uh, the green train would definitely be the most powerful and convenient way but nowadays obviously it's a little bit out of date it. You can see the top speed on this was 100 kilometers an hour. Most of the trains wouldn't have gone at that speed, they'd gone pretty slow. This is a sleeper train so they would have gone through the night very very slowly. I'm underneath the train right now makes me think of those black and white movies, you know, like Charlie Chaplin or Buster Keaton, where the damsel would get tied to the train tracks and the villain would stand there rubbing his hands together. <laughs> Hello, goat.
Oh, you're tied up here. Hello. You're not going to eat the camera, are you? That's a bit weird. I love goat size. <laughs> There's a goat over here. A goat. A goat. Meh. There's a goat. It's amazing how overgrown these carriages are. Somebody's left some dandelions here. Looks like people have actually been living in here, maybe squatting in here. I think this is the emergency break. I don't know if you've been watching the new series of Snowpiercer on Netflix starring Jennifer Connelly. That's where they're going on a train which kind of circles the world. Really good TV show. Really good TV show. Um, kind of makes me think of that show. Kind of that enclosed space with lots of people on board the train. This is really nice. Of course, one of the other big features of traveling on older trains like this is that smoking is just basically allowed on the whole train. So sitting in your sleeper carriage, you'd be able to have a cigarette. And if you're not a smoker, well, you're kind of fucked because everybody else would be smoking. I just climbed in this tiny window to get to the second steam train. This one's been cleaned up a little bit. I guess this is the engine inside. I'm 
try and call in there now. The dead bird. I guess that bird didn't make it. Might be easier. Oh, I'm too big. I'm too big to fit through that hole. Shoulders are too wide. Shit. Don't fall on my head. It's amazing in here. I'm actually in the belly of the steam train. Let's see if I can take it in. It's seriously hot in here. I might be able to climb out of the funnel. No, I don't think I can climb out of that. Well, this train is actually carrying a lot of memories and also it's it's the thing that be connected for family to families. Approximately a decade ago, a lot of families would take the train to one place to another, carry down a lot of things, happiness, a lot of relationships. Well, they have a chit chat, they having a conversation with a stranger, and they're establishing a new relationship or uh, but they don't have a laptops at the moment. It's all about this, you know, uh, casual thing, doing the kind of traditional gaming, eating a lot of snack, peanuts, or kind of guazi. What a guazi. Guazi, it's, <laughs> it's traditional way of, you know, kind of traditional mm. snacks. Yeah. Besides, um, during the, each station, they can, get, you know, buy some local uh, souvenirs, uh, foods, and deliver to their family and friends mm. in person. So it's a lot of memories, yeah. obviously. It's like a whole culture in China, right? Yes. Cool. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. Well, that's about it from this side. It's way too hot outside right now to be exploring these trains. We're gonna go over to some military tunnels now. We might have to do a little bit of hard work to get into them, but I'm optimistic we can get in. These military tunnels, not only did they used to be an execution ground outside, but inside used to be like a hidden nightclub, brothel, dancing place for, you know, like corrupt officials, things like that. Also, it's in a People's Liberation Army base, so we're going to have to be very, very careful. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and be sure to subscribe and ding, ding, ding that subscription bell for great new videos from Burbix, Bryn's Urban Exploration, every week. Let's go.